My friends, we have a beautiful Queen Walk Minor 3-star Town Hall 12 featuring Holden, who is new in Clash of Clans. Well, no. He's new to Spartan's Legacy, not new in Clash of Clans. We are having tryouts, though, if you want to come. 10, 11, 12. Come on over. So what we're going to go here, I'm going to kind of walk you through the plan. And uh, it didn't go quite according to plan, uh, but he was still able to recover. Now, on these sort of a, a bases, uh, benefits of miners. They aren't uh, affected by the tornado trap. And the, the Giga Tesla, they pop underneath. So that's good. Those are two positive of miners, right? Uh, but you got to have good plans, right? You, you need to have good plans. And Bum uh, helped Holden. Holden and Bum worked on it. I was like, yeah. I mean, I was on voice too. I, you could have caught that live stream. I did stream it. We, we saw the war live. Uh, but, uh, yeah, if you want to go watch that live attack, you can. Anyways, pretty pretty simple here. He's going to funnel, so uh, going to take care of this Archer Tower with loons and uh, then start the queen about, put him about the, put her about around this area at the workshop near the builder's hut. And, uh, honestly, if you didn't take down this uh, Archer Tower, the queen would more than likely, uh, you know, walk, right? So he's just going to use a queen and a wizard there. And then use a king uh, elsewhere um, for the funneling uh, later on in the raid. Okay, and then just going to have the queen. She will wrap around, get this air defense, wrap around the corner. And then his plan was to bring a uh, ram uh, through the gut uh, up towards uh, to get access to the eagle artillery. Queen will get in here and all that good stuff. But he put the ram a bit too high, so the pathing was a bit off. And it really could have cost him in the end. Thankfully, it didn't. Okay, so here comes the loons. Three loons, easy. In fact, you probably could have gotten away with two here. Uh, two probably would have been enough. But three to be safe. There could have been a black bomb there. Don't want to take the risk. That needs, because that archer tower needs to drop. And yeah, Tesla, this is not going to be a problem. Notice the funnel's here, right? Queen, there's this huge gap between the air defense and this uh, gold mine. So Queen being placed here, but as I said, she'll walk up perfectly. Here is a loon to test, uh, making sure there's no black bombs for his healers. Pretty smart. So no, look at this. Going to have to drop a rage, no problem. But queen now walks perfectly. Now one thing, he was a bit too late on... The rage really sp sped it up. He was like, he almost was really almost too late on the ram. And the ram just slightly too high. It needed to drop a little bit, just a little bit lower, right? Uh, slightly too high, and because it was so high, going to break up, uh, you know, he, he really wanted to have the queen come down and get this eagle artillery. Two ice golems. Going to freeze up the queen, freeze up some of the defenses. Now, why ice golems there? I mean, ice golems aren't a bad idea. I, I think Valkyries could have been fine too. They would have helped clear out the... Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> they would have helped clear out. I, I, maybe he was afraid of the, the the single here, so he's like, maybe bring some ice golems, you know, and, you know, protect the queen a bit. Uh, but the CC was not lured, so this was actually getting pretty dangerous right here, right? Eagle was not down because the break was a bit high, and now thankfully the uh, baby dragon was taken out, so that's good. But the eagle artillery was not. So king here, as I said, we use for funnel miners coming in at one o'clock and uh, this is where it gets dicey right You're like eagle artillery is not down there's really no way to get to it you're just gonna have to hope the miners can survive this whole time uh and uh, if that's the case and that that's good stuff so he did forget to drop a healer for his uh queen in fact it's actually gonna be for his benefit he's gonna pop a healer at the king smart play boys that's like brilliant Healer at the king. This is going to keep the king alive. King's going to get huge value over here. Uh, really, really the game changer, right? Really the game changer. Just having that one healer on the king, enabling him to stay alive just lo a bit longer. Able to get some more defenses down. Tanking for the two Teslas. Tanking for the cannon. Look at that. They're not hitting the miners. Uh, wizards behind. Like, really, really brilliant stuff on the go. Because of that, he was able to get a three star on this base, right? Coming down to the wire, it did come down. He had about three set, four seconds left on the clock. Uh, so coming down to the wire for sure. 
But uh, all those things kind of working out in his favor. And even though with the little mistake on the Rams, still able to recover uh, in the end. Uh, so, yeah, never give up, guys. Never give up. And, yeah, try to think about, yeah, pl you just make sure you, you line up that Ram, the raw record. I call it the Ram because it's the Ram's head. Make sure you line it up and think about where you need to place it because, honestly, that one little thing could have cost him the whole raid. He needed that. Having that eagle artillery down, imagine the queen getting the eagle down. I mean, the raid would have been just, yeah. <laughs> it would have been even more crushed. So uh, those things do matter. But a brilliant attack from Holden. Like, really smooth attack. Good plan from them. And unfortunately, no more three stars from us, guys. We don't have any more three stars on the 12v12s. In fact, they don't have... Yeah, they... Wait, they three-starred our number six, eh? But Malte is a new... I think Malte is a new... 12? Yeah, he's not a max 12. Yet. Almost maxed. Now let's show it anyway. It's an electric dragon attack. What isn't max defensively? Maybe the Infernos, not having Infernos max does make a difference. He's got his Wizard Tower. Everything else looks max, though, right? Okay, some of the cannons not. Probably some of the Archer Towers, if we look close enough, aren't maxed as well. Um, but anyways, I want to show you this one. Not having walls maxed, obviously that's a big deal. <laughs> He's got a long way for the walls. He doesn't even have Town Hall 11 walls. Uh, fully max. That does make a difference. It makes a difference. Maybe not so much on this one just because uh, he's not doing like a queen walk, but uh, it makes a difference on certainly uh, other types of attacks. Uh, if, like if you're going to do a kill squad or any queen walks, you need wall breakers in there. So queen's going to get some value here. Going to get the town hall. It's going to be nice. We'll have to, man, look at that Town Hall, boys. Taking down the Queen so quickly. There goes the ability. It does drop. Having the Queen get that Town Hall, very nicely done. And she should die out really quickly. Let's see where he's going to bring in his Electric Dragons. Where, where is he going to opt in? He's going to opt in at this side. Okay, he's going straight for the single. <laughs> Bold move, bruh. Bold move. Interesting. He decides to put the slammer. And he's not, is he not even going to freeze up? Wow. Okay. I would say if this is a mistake. The slammer is so powerful. Like, I put it up at 12, guys. I mean, put it right here. Freeze the air defense or bring in some loons or something. This slammer, he would have gotten a wizard tower, archer tower down. Heck, if you put it over here, he could have gotten maybe the, well... Now, getting into Inferno would have been too hard. But definitely, he could have gotten Wizard Tower, Archer Tower, and I think the Air Defense, all by one Slammer. Like, the Slammer didn't get any in, nothing there. Sure, the Loons are over here with the Electric Dragons, but totally not worth, totally not worth it. So you got to think about that, guys. That's, I mean, that st sort of things can totally make and break attacks. Uh, you know, having that Slammer up here... I think he even would have been so much more dominant. Notice the loons are already dead, so it's it's not like a big deal. So treat the slammer like a powerful unit. Like you got to make sure, don't send it into a single target inferno. That's just really not the smartest thing on the block. Pretty dominated. The base, yeah, not maybe not the best base defensively. It was not totally max as well, but cool attack nonetheless. I mean, it's good plan. Able to get down that town hall and using the electric dragons. Of course, he three starred, so you might think, well, he three starred, so why not go into the slammer? Why not go into the single with the slammer? I just feel like he would have gotten more value else with the slammer, right? I don't know. Maybe you, th maybe you think differently than I do. Maybe you think he wouldn't have got more value. I just think he would have. I personally don't like sending my slammer straight into a single target inferno. I don't really see the benefit of that. Anyways, there are some strategies for you. Subscribe, share. Drop a like. Ooh, what's this? News? What do we have? What did they do? Clan War League's top 10 clans. Oh, okay, that's new. Anything else? I guess not. Uh, what do we have here? I got to get some gold mines down. We got to get some more farming. Hopefully your farming is doing well. We're getting my 11 slowly on the grind. I need to get it maxed out as quickly as possible. Anyways, appreciate it, guys. Uh, we'll see you around... Halo out. Threaten my people with slavery and death.
This is madness! Madness. This is Sparta! Yeah!